Welcome to Nyakeri Chapel, to each and every one of you, those joining us here, those who are joining us online through Zoom, and those who may be watching at a later date. I extend to you our heartfelt welcome. I am Elaine Jones, Student Chapel Coordinator and MDiv student here at Bethany. It is my pleasure to be serving as co-leader of our worship today alongside Dr. Dawn Otoni Wilhelm, Brightville Professor of Preaching and Worship. Friends, together we embark on a journey of healing and transformation, trusting in the power of communal prayer, sacred music, and reflective silence to guide us deeper into the presence of God. May our time together be a sanctuary of peace and a wellspring of hope for all who seek healing and wholeness. This morning, we'll share in a healing service modeled after the liturgy of healing from the Iona Abbey in Scotland. Although we've provided you with a printed bulletin, a full outline of the service, you may notice that much of it comes from the Iona Abbey Worship Book, which is also on your chair. You may enjoy looking at that sometime later. This service of prayers for healing reflects our belief that God's purpose for all of us is a life of wholeness, as expressed in the life and teachings of Jesus. The ministry of healing is an integral part of our Christian witness. We each stand in need of healing. But in this ministry, we recognize also the social dimension. That is, we recognize not only our personal need for healing, but for the healing of divided communities and nations and the healing of earth itself. These prayers also have their place alongside the healing of broken bodies, hurt minds, wounded hearts, and the hurts and divisions within ourselves, between us and others. We further recognize that our prayers for physical healing are complementary to the work of medicine and other forms of healing, which are also channels of God's loving and transforming purposes. In our service, we shall bring to mind and heart particular people, places, and situations for which we would like to pray. During the service, there will be a period of silent meditation, at which time you may write a prayer intention on the cards provided. We do this because each person and situation is known to God, not as a problem to be solved, but as a focus for God's acceptance and love. We're not seeking to change God, but to change the world. And we trust that God, that our prayers will be answered, although we do not know when or how healing will happen. A basket will be circulated at the end of the meditation to receive your prayer requests. Prayer intentions submitted by email prior to the service will also be added and will be collectively blessed. There will also be an opportunity for those who wish to come forward to receive the ministry of laying on of hands. This can be either for themselves, for another person, or for a situation in our world. In and through this, we affirm that the ministry of healing is not restricted to particular individuals, but is a corporate inclusive process, the work of the whole Christian body of Christ in which we all have a part to play. God's healing purpose, the promise of God's fulfilling and sustaining love is for every one of us. Whether we choose to come forward or to remain seated in the outer circle, God will use our presence in this service.
please stand with me as we join in the opening responses printed in your bulletin. We gather in your presence, God, in our need and bringing with us the needs of the world. We come to you, for you come to us in Jesus, and you know by experience what human life is like. We come with our faith and with our doubts. We come with our hopes and with our fears. We come as we are because you have invited us and you have promised never to turn us away. We praise you as centuries of people have done before you. We are not alone. Saints and angels, invisible yet in splendor, surround us. Jesus, the healer, is with us. Your Holy Spirit leads us to yearn for our own completeness, for the well-being of others, and for a better life. Fill us with the expectation of goodness, 
And should any here feel burdened by guilt or inadequacy, let the grace of Jesus be made real in all its liberating power. Here, let your word come alive in our hearing. Here, let our concern respond to your compassion. Here, let hope lead a path through heaviness. Here, may your kingdom come. Amen. Please be seated. As we hear the word of God in Psalm 91, may we be fully open in heart, mind, and soul to the consoling truth of God's enduring love. Breathing comfortably and attentively, we prepare ourselves to receive God's assurance. live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the words of God within us. Thanks be to God. As we enter into a time of quiet reflection, let us breathe deeply and still our hearts before the Holy One. In this sacred space, may our deep presence join with the stillness and spirit of God. As companions on this journey, we invite you to inscribe your prayers and intentions on the paper provided offering them as sacred offerings to the one who hears our every longing. At the end of the meditation, of, after about five minutes, a basket will be passed among us to collect all written petitions, symbols of our collective yearning for healing and wholeness. Together, let us surrender our prayers to the mystery of divine love trusting in its transformative power to bring comfort, restoration, and peace. We now enter the silence.
As you are led by spirit and compassion, you're invited to come forward to occupy one of the five chairs in this circle. And as you remain seated in this smaller circle and others will be in the larger circle, Elaine and I will lay hands on each of you and we will speak aloud and invite others in the wider circle to join us in the brief prayer as we lay hands on each of you. We ask you to speak aloud this prayer, Spirit of the living God, present with us now, heal you in body, mind, and spirit, in Jesus' name. And when each has received the gift of laying on of hands, they may return to their seats, and others may come forward as you feel led. We'll also include prayers for those that have been written here and given to us online. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, heal you in body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, heal you in body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, heal you in body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, heal you in body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, 
heal you in body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, heal you in body, mind, and spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, Heal you in body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Spirit of the living God, present with you now. Heal you in body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, heal you in body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, heal you in body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, heal you in body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, heal you in body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.
May the mind of God, ever wiser than our minds, search us deeply and open us to the truths that make for our healing. May the ears of God, ever open to our prayers, listen for us deeply and hear beneath our words, our honest yearnings. May the heart of God, ever filled with costly love, cherish us deeply, mending any brokenness and affirming our worth. May God keep us company this day and every day. Amen. Please rise for the blessing. To God be the glory, to the saints and angels be honor, to those who would work evil be confusion, to the cross be reverence, to the church discernment, to the departed new life, to the penitent acceptance, to the suffering timely healing, to the four corners of the world be peace and us in this place also. May the compassion of God come to bless us and overshadow us continually. Amen.